Hi Pudding Cups, it's GE1, and I'm here today to show you my beautiful collection of Thai Baby Beanie Boos. They're so super cute, and I love each and every one of mine. So I'm going to let you meet them now. I have three mini clips. And this is Zigzag. This is Zoe. She's a pink one. And this adorable little owl is Pinky. Isn't she cute? Oopsies! <laughs> and then you have your standard six inch Beanie Boo, which are all of these adorable guys. So this is Buckwheat, and he is, I believe, some form of wildcat, maybe a lynx. And also, I'm not going in order of how I got them, like who came first. I'm just kind of going down the line. But I got Buckwheat at a local um, restaurant, actually. He's so cute. And this is Whiskers, and some of them have little collars. I have made them out of glass beads and lettering. And Whiskers is a mini schnauzer, and I bought him for myself. Um, I can't remember the occasion, maybe for Christmas? And he's so cute. And this is Slush, and I know he was my third Beanie Boo. And I like his tail because underneath is blue fur to match his adorable ears. A little husky. And then comes my unicorns who I'll introduce to you with them all by each other. I have three unicorns. And if I remember right, one of these two girls <clears throat> was my first Beanie Boo, which I got after um, I had a really bad, painful um, root canal at my dentist. I was completely out of it <clears throat> on medication, and I was walking through a local drugstore to get my prescription, and I saw, I believe, magic, and I started crying. <laughs> because I was just so out of it and I just loved her and I made her this little collar so this is magic she's pink and purple and then this is wishful Oops, she has a little tag there we go and her tail is very um, scruffy and she's got lots of beautiful pastel polka dots and then this is Fantasia. And the funny thing is, she's just a little special because her eyes <laughs> were stitched in uneven and her horn is a little bent and she sits kind of funny. She's just really derpy and it looks so cute. And I knew no one else would want just some weird looking little beanie boo. So I bought her the day I bought Whiskers, <laughs> my schnauzer. She's so adorable, and she's kind of tie-dyed. There's some green. I love her. And then my last six-inch Beanie Boo is Muffin, who, yes, she has a little Santa hat on. And I bought her when I went out shopping with my best friend. And her and I saw Muffin, and I'm like, I have to buy her. And she actually had a huge rip down her back, which I actually fixed up by sewing, and you can kind of see there, the string. And I made her a cute little Christmas collar, and I can show you. She has a little pink spot. She's just precious. She reminds me of um, one of my old pets, Gabby, if you watch my old videos about my pets. So this is Muffin. And then I have two, I believe, 8 inch, 12 inch Beanie Boos. So I'll introduce you to these guys. I got them together for Halloween from my mom. 
Um, this guy is my owl named Swoops. And I took just some plain ribbon and a bow. And I hole punched through two guitar picks. Um, Gorillas, one of my favorite music groups of all time. Um, because this owl just reminded me of one of my old friends. And um, we loved Gorillas together. So I put these guitar picks around him. And he's very sweet. He has got sparkly gold eyes and a really cuddly body and just some adorable little wings. It can look like he's flying sometimes if you get it just right. And my last little beanie boo here is Frights, who is my Halloween cat. He's got an orange eye and a green eye. And his little tail has an orange tip. And he's very, very sweet looking. I love cats so much. Look at this little guy. I couldn't say no to him. So yes, this was my entire Beanie Boo collection. I try not to accumulate too many at once. I like to get them on special occasions. So who knows who will be next in the family and when it will be. So thanks for watching guys. Please comment, rate, and subscribe.